Now to the future of space and the Clear Lake company that is making history. Axiom Space is sending the first all-private mission to the International Space Station, and the crew plans to complete hundreds of hours of science benefiting Earth. Very exciting, but tonight Axiom's chief technology officer is taking us behind the scenes to show us the work they do right here in Space City. A Rosen Aragon has an exclusive one-on-one -on -one tour. Greater Houston, the home to human spaceflight. Whoa. Where history. Time to get inside the crew quarters. Is being made. This is Axiom Space. We're flying the first all commercial crew to the International Space Station. Chief Technology Officer Matt Ondler takes us inside their headquarters in Clear Lake. This is all engineering. So this leading aerospace company will send four private astronauts, including Commander and former astronaut Mike Lopez Alegria, on Axiom Mission One, a 10 day experience and the first all private mission to the International Space Station. 700 to 1,000 hours of training, so they go through very similar training that the NASA astronauts go through. The crew will do hundreds of hours of science aboard the ISS. But that's not all. Axiom Space earned a coveted NASA contract to build the first commercial space station to attach to the ISS. The first two are generally identical. They have four crew quarters each, each with a window. Four modules. This one, this one, and this one, and this one. Crafting in-flight computers in-house. This is basically our space station on the ground. Utilizing the latest tech and testing their limits. We have blown up, I've lost track, nine, 10, 20 of these. Like any good space company, this right here is a mock-up of one of their modules. As you can see, it's an octagon, and this right here, six feet tall. We got to see vision to reality. Ready? All right. Well, virtual reality. This shows us what the Axiom station will look like. Astronaut cabins with a view of Earth, a sleek and clean design, and eventually the Earth Observatory. This is where all the private astronauts are gonna hang out. Seven by three feet window panels and 360 views, bringing life-changing perspective. But first, you might get a kick. the teams on Earth. Sometimes a lot faster to just cut a hole in some pegboard and start running pipes to it. Build and test. How do you put 15 feet worth of diameter stuff through a 50 inch hole and put it all together? To support life in space and... Now that's where we're doing uh, urine processing. It costs about $250,000 to fly a gallon of water to space. They problem solve. Recover as much water as possible. Yesterday's urine is today's coffee. But all of these pieces create an overall vision. Building the next chapter, a new commercial economy, making everyday space flight one leap away. The more people we can get into space uh, and see the world as the whole world as opposed to their little part of the world, I think that helps all of us. Roseanne Aragon, KPRC 2 News.